Mike Tyson's fighting in September. September 12th against Roy Jones Jr. Who do you think is going to win? Go on, in the comments tell me who do you think is going to win and then I'll tell you who I think. The bookmakers apparently have got Mike Tyson as a slight favourite going into this fight and I can't really understand why. Mike Tyson is older than Roy Jones Jr. He finished his career a lot longer ago than Roy Jones. Roy Jones was competing until a couple of years ago, he even strung a few wins together. Mike Tyson has released footage of him looking good in training, hitting the pads and looking like the Tyson of old. But you'd have to be very naive to imagine that after 15 years out of the ring, a man in his 50s could get anywhere close to being where he was when he left off his career. Even if you want to make every excuse for Mike Tyson, and Mike Tyson fans tend to make a lot of excuses, he's one of the only fighters that gets referred to as Prime Tyson. You'd almost think that was his full name. And I don't mean any disrespect, I am a Mike Tyson fan. But there's such a myth that comes with the guy, people seem to buy into it and we want to imagine, we want to believe that he is back to being his former self. I bet a lot of us would love to be back to being our former selves, but the reality is time takes its toll. And Roy Jones Jr., who is also in his 50s, early 50s, is he 51? He's younger than, uh, than Mike Tyson. He was competing up until two years ago. I think that is the relevant factor here. Forget age, how old they are in terms of their retirement. Mike Tyson is 15 years retired and Roy Jones Jr. has been competing in the last few years. So I think you have to make Roy Jones Jr. favourite. I also don't understand exactly how the scoring will work because apparently there will be no judges so there will only be a winner if one of them is knocked out and also they've stipulated that the contest will be stopped if one of them sustains a cut. But I don't know if that means the person who gets cut loses or it just means we'll wave it off, uh, no contest. So it sounds to me like the most likely outcome will be a draw. But it depends on their uh, mentality. Are they gonna get in there and be a good sport, put on a good show, move around, you chase me, I'll chase you. Uh, that kind of exhibition. Or will you have the kind of exhibition that Floyd Mayweather put on when he took on Tenshin, uh, the kickboxing champion? That was an exhibition. Um, Mayweather knocked the guy out, uh, which is not something that he's been known for in the last few years. So who knows? what will happen. I sense Iron Mike and Roy Jones will be good sports about it, will uh, move around. And if that does happen, you've got to give the advantage to the smaller, faster guy. Roy Jones Jr. started out at middleweight. He won titles at middleweight, super middleweight, light heavyweight, and he even moved up to heavyweight and picked up the WBA belt from John Ruiz. And after he won that heavyweight title, there was talk of a showdown between him and Mike Tyson. It was around the time that Mike Tyson was coming off the loss to Lennox Lewis. So he was already way past his prime around the time when Roy Jones was in his prime when he was doing what no one else had done before, winning 
belts from middleweight all the way up to heavyweight. So the only real advantage I can think of for Mike Tyson would be perhaps a size advantage. He competed at heavyweight throughout his career. Roy Jones was a middleweight that blew up uh, to heavyweight, picking belts up along the way, and then pretty much ruined himself trying to get back down to light heavyweight to defend his belt, which I think he did once against Antonio Tarver, but then in the rematch, Tava knocked him out, and that's it. Once Roy Jones was knocked out, the aura of invincibility uh, was gone, because prior to that, I think he'd only lost one match due to a disqualification, which no one really considered to be a loss. So just as Mike Tyson lost his aura of invincibility in Japan against Buster Douglas, when Roy Jones was knocked out, by Tava, he lost this aura of invincibility and he was, he was knocked out again several times uh, following, to the, following that bad knockout. And they do say when a fighter suffers a bad knockout, the, the defense, the durability is sometimes gone forever and there will be susceptible to nor bad knockouts. Um, Roy Jones was uh, knocked out, I think, by Enzo Macronelli, a uh, cruiserweight that fought out of the same camp as Joe Calzaghi. So I can see why people have got Mike Tyson as favourite, but I think the sensible money has got to be on Roy Jones Jr., the younger man who was competing until more recently. And remember, Mike Tyson was not a huge heavyweight. I think at the peak of his powers, he was uh, weighing in at about 215, 220. And Roy Jones, having competed recently at cruiserweight, will have been cutting weight down to 200 pounds. So when they get in the ring, there will probably be of a similar uh, size and weight. And we'll see who still has the power, who still has the reflexes. But I hope neither of them get hurt. I hope it's a good sporting matchup. And who knows? Maybe it could be the start of new things. Apparently Mike Tyson has created a sports league for retired athletes, not just boxers, but other retired athletes who are in their 40s, 50s, who knows, uh, maybe older, uh, so they can compete against each other. And that's got to be a good thing. If it's done in a safe way, if it's done where matches are fair and not a mismatch, then why not? A lot of the grappling arts have seniors categories, so uh, why not boxing? Or is it the case that sustaining blows to the head is just too dangerous when you get into your 50s? I mean, some people think it's too dangerous uh, at any time in life. But we're all individuals. We all make our own decisions and we have to respect that. So good luck to Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. The 12th of September, I will be rooting for Mike Tyson. I was a big Mike Tyson fan all my life. The first boxer's name I ever heard about was Mike Tyson when I was jumping around on the bed with a pair of boxing gloves on, pretending that I was uh, Mike Tyson. So good luck to both warriors. I will be rooting for Mike Tyson. I'd love to see one more Mike Tyson victory, but I think the sensible money is on Roy Jones Jr. But maybe the even more sensible money is on the draw and they just finish the contest, shake hands and go home to their family, just like Tony Bellew would want. 
Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments, who do you think is going to win? Tyson or Jones? <laughs>